So hello everyone so today we are going to discuss about uh, some more feature of m365 admin portal yesterday we have created a shared mailbox and trying to send a mail but it will take 24 hours to reflect it so uh, i just open the shared mailbox and check so i am getting the mail through a shared mailbox you can see i have shared i have shared the mail through a shared mailbox and uh, yeah i am uh, able to send the mail through a shared mailbox so you these things that you can use it if you are using any tech support uh, portal so you can send the mail over the uh, shared mailbox you don't require a separate uh, license for that you can create a shared mailbox and then assign the member it will automatically you use for send and receive the mail okay so uh, in the next uh, option that we are going to discuss about the resources in the resources there we have two type of the uh, options available one is the rooms and equipment and second one is the sites okay so what is the rooms and equipment so basically uh for example if you have in your organization like located in the any of the location like singapore like uh, india and like noida like any of the uh physical locations your office is available so in your office there is a multiple uh, conference rooms over there okay and uh, if you are booking that room so how the other member in your organization can be able to check this room is available for that particular time or not so microsoft has launched this feature for the rooms and equipment uh, for managing that conference room so what you can do you can create a two type of rooms one is you can create a virtual rooms like if you want to notify someone okay this room is or uh, is not available uh, or you can they can see the status of the rooms in uh, office hours okay so the uh, the an another rooms is that you have the microsoft teams equipment in your own organization conference room and you just want to connect that conference uh, that appliances with the microsoft teams room to use uh, for meeting and uh, webinars so, so these things that you can use it so i just how it works that i have recently i have created multiple rooms and equipment uh, rooms over there so i just want like you can manage or you can create our rooms meeting over the calendar over the teams anywhere okay so i just go to the calendar option and i want uh, to schedule a particular time uh, for rooms meeting like for example i just want to create at uh, okay 2 p.m to 3 p.m I, I just want that my rooms should be uh, busy for my work so i'm just putting m365 training uh meeting okay and then you can you can uh, add your name if you want okay so just by uh tech cloud okay so who is who just want to be attendees of this particular conference meeting so i'm just putting rithik in the meeting and i just putting uh, akansha in the meeting and alex in this meeting so these people can be uh, will be uh, will not will be automatically notified okay i have scheduled a meeting at uh, uh, at a suitable time like i'm just uh, just want to put it at 10 to 11 for example okay and i can schedule a time and date as well so here is the option that you can use it if you have the option for all days and uh, you can also use the custom one oh, okay i just want to create our rooms uh, meeting so i just click on the search location option it will automatically appear okay so i'm just going to the creating a sales and marketing so sales and marketing i have putting the name of the conference room uh, sales and for sales and marketing i just put it in okay so you can use two options over there either you can use the teams meeting option either you can use the offline version okay 
so once you have clicked it you can use the description of the meeting and once you have clicked the send it will automatically schedule a meeting at a, at a particular time which you have required time okay so how other people can be notified okay this room is already busy so for example if i just want to create a same uh, meeting with same time period okay alex and just putting the time and i just want to put the sales and marketing over there okay so i just want to check at uh, 10 to 11 it's busy or not okay so i just post i just want uh i just manage it okay you can see i'm just putting the date uh time at 10 pm to 11 pm it is showing that you are unavailable because it this room is already uh scheduled by other people so these things that you can manage your conference rooms if you are organizations having a multiple conference room and you want you just want to manage the status and the uh, scheduling options so you can use the rear the rooms or and equipment options so this is very beneficial for your organization the second one is the sites that if you have a multiple sharepoint site and you just want to manage it from here okay so you can use it also you can check the status of okay start external sharing if you uh you want you don't want to allow it you just, some of the you won't allow it you just click on it and it will automatically appear of it and you just add it and change the status okay the if you just want to manage advanced level of the teams sharepoint uh site so you have to go to the sharepoint administrator also you just uh, visit to the sharepoint uh site so only admin the sharepoint admin uh, can be managed uh, the advanced level of permission otherwise they need to provide you the owner permission then you can uh, use it okay uh, thanks for the time thanks for the this is uh, the next video we will cover over the marketplace and uh, other things uh, thanks for watching my video have a good day bye bye